Okay, quick video on Freelander 2 mirror covers. So we've got an early Freelander 2, pre-2010, which has got the slight curved shape here. The later ones are much straighter across. So what are the options you've got if you want to put some mirror covers? So from factory, most of them have this sort of textured finish. Now, unlike the later ones, you cannot remove this top cap. Um, this is all moulded in, it's not a cap that can come off. So your only real option is a cover of some description. Now, we've gone gloss black, and we've got all these different caps in different colours. The first one is a half cap, the second one is a full cap, and the third one is a full cap with LED indicator and welcome light. So, Ian's going to model these for you now, like. So the half cap, obviously, it just sits on the top. And actually, it's almost as effective as the full mirror cover, because this, this bottom bit you don't notice so much. Um, Good if you just want to colour code the caps or something. Or if your top is cracked or broken. They're good, good option, and they're cheapest, so that's always a bonus. Now, the full mirror cap gives you more colour coding. It covers more. The real advantage of these is if your mirror is cracked or damaged or scratched all the way, it's like the whole back of the mirror is new. So that's the real bonus with those. And they actually fit better because they sort of hold themselves on because they're pushing at the top and the bottom. You've got more gripping. Um, so that's the other option. A little bit more expensive. And then this one is the king of complexity, expensive, and yeah, and that sits on top, and that's got a built-in indicator and welcome light. So what happens here, if I just zoom out a little bit, when you unlock the car, you get this LED welcome light comes on, and when you indicate, yeah, you plus that, you'll notice you've got, so it is actually a safety feature, if you're changing lanes on the motorway or something, you've got a little more indication it doesn't affect the flash speed so we are now going to crack up and show you how to install those so Ian's going to go and get the bits ready I'll talk you through the gist of it so the gist of it is the side light light comes from or the welcome light comes from either the puddle light in the mirror if you haven't got that it goes to the welcome light wire underneath so check your car's got those if you haven't got those i don't think the wires are in the door card so you might be struggling the indicator wire needs to come down here through the hinge into the indicator it's a bit trickier than on the sport which has the same mirror because the indicator's here on the sport right and what you've got to do is you've got to route it through and ian will show us how to do that because he's done it through the hinge right let's have a run around now we're looking in I just the door card off. Right, so the door card's the first thing to come off. And we'll do this a little bit quickly. We have got a dedicated video to the door card, but run for it quick. Screw there. Posi, all posi drive. Uh, one in behind the handle, one on the end. One on the end. It might, sometimes they've got a little plastic cap on them. And then you have to pull that trim off there. You're getting good at this now, eh? It was on the other side. <laughs> We've not had this side off. Yeah, it feels like it's not going to go, but it'll go. There's a little cut out in the bottom. Ah, there is actually a little sort of sneaky hole. Yeah, I got that. To get in. So you can just get a flat head or something in, in underneath. And then, yeah, got that off. And then we've got another posi in there again. Two more. Are they all the same size or are they the bigger, those ones? Um, the one in the end is actually the long one. So watch the sizes when you take them out. The other three are all that size. size. The one in the end, yeah, it's, it's got a long way to go, is it? Long one. Right, I'm going to chuck that in there. There you go. You've got to pull the covers off, give it a yank. Now, have we not had this one off before? He's... Go on! Oh, one more. Oh, one more. So how many is that? One, two... Two behind there. Yeah, two and three, the and three around the periphery. We got it. You have a door card, didn't have that one. Didn't it? That one's the same. Same. Oh, we've got one missing. So I'm out of practice. All right, and then you have to sort of lift it up a little bit at the top, do you? Nope. No. Nope. Should come. Come straight. Oh no, it's a note lift up yet. Yeah. Sorry, it's on those clips there, and they just pull off. So right. we got uh, on the underside. Push the little, underside for your electric for your window. Windows. Right, and then this is yeah, this is something we might get frightened. 
by this, but it's not too bad, is it? If you push the white bit in, it releases this clip. Yeah. And then that just comes straight, comes straight off. off. And then this one at the bottom, just pull. If you've got that, that's if you've if got you've the got courtesy that. light. Yeah. Just pull. Nothing else to do on that one. Just put it straight out. Door right. card off. Door card off. Right. So now we're starting to get because what we've got to do is we've got to run the wire through the mirror. So we've got to expose where the wires are coming through on here. Um. So this one. Give out a little. Just pull. You, off. Yeah, it, you could just leave it hanging, but it's so easy just to twist off. Was that easy to put on on the other side as well, Ian? Yeah. It, it's not. It's not difficult. This We've one's got, got a little, little push tweet, um, just for the tweeter. You know, as a tweeter off. Yeah. All you do to remount it is it, it hooks in the inside there, and then just clips into the rubber. But trim. you've got to make sure you tuck it in behind it tucks that. between the two there. Between the, between the metal and the rubber. Then. And then it just tucks in that gap there, yeah. and it just grips Grip. itself in. Cool. Right. Now we don't need to disconnect or do anything for the mirror, I don't think. Did you have to one? What do you want? I wearing? took the whole mirror off. off. Right, okay. Personally, yeah. for feeding the wires the, okay. in through this from it. For the I sake of three it. bolts and two connectors. So yeah, two connectors, you've got a push release, you've got a push in the middle there. Get those off. Right. Okay, then we need a 10 millimeter socket here. We've got the three screws on here. You might find it easiest to drill the mirror cover. Mirror the mirror while it's there. Should we do it there? It yeah. Because yeah. it's, it's a difficult shape to hold in a vice, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So what we've got to do is we've got to pass the wires for all the indicators through here. Now, this is obviously on a pivot. And what you'll see is there's actually a hollow shaft that runs all the way down the middle of the pivot. So you've got to try and work out where the middle of the pivot is. But if we just show you where it is, um, you won't be far off. What are you going to do? Ian? I'm just going to just gonna, just gonna go through. So you're in that... You want to be in that sort of pointy bit at corner. the end. Right, it doesn't. I mean, the, the whole thing is going to be covered. So, although it looks brutal. Oh, there you go. Where am I looking? Although it looks brutal. And then what you can do is you can look down in there and see where all the wires are going. When we take the bottom cover off. We can do the bottom cover next. You can do the. Yeah. Hold your mirror right back. Hold your mirror right back. Hold on, hold on. And that exposes that edge there. And right. you want to push those clips in. So you, you push in towards the car. And then that yank him out. come straight off. Right. Now on the other side, you do have a little connector in here um, for the temperature sensor. Wow. On the left hand side. Flash. Um, oh, has it got a heated mirror? Sits underneath. No, it's just a outside, outside temp. Outside okay. temp. Air temp. Sits underneath there. Yeah. Uh, it's not got a long cable. Right. But so you have to. Again, it's just, just a squeeze clip. Get it off. Right, and then can we see through there now? Yeah, yeah. So if you should, you, you should be able to see, see through there, you can see my little hand. So now what we're going to do is route the wire through, down through the hinge, and then poke him out. But you reckon it's worth whipping that mirror off, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Let's whip it off. Let's see if we can. No, I'm going to do a, a video with no takes in it. Should we try and do a. Oh, I'm putting the pressure on now. Yeah, someone will call me in a minute. You watch. So yeah, they're three ten mils. If you get those off first, then this one at the top will stop it just falling. Oh yeah, out. yeah, we got that little Phillips at the top. That's a little T twenty. Oh, it's T twenty torques. T twenty torques, but that will hold it in place just while you whip these off by hand, leaving you just one to yeah. take out. Then, because you need to hold the mirror, stop it falling on the floor. Sounds like there's a confession there. Nope. Nope. Our, uh, our wind deflectors do handily hold it. <laughs> hold it. But if you don't have the wind deflectors, <laughs> it, it may just topple out. Yeah, so we've right, that's the mirror out. Use it through there. Yeah, you got the little, just push the little cable through the hole. Right. Now we've got all the fun of mounting the new... So in the mirror kit, let's have a look what we've got. We've obviously got the, the mirror, right? Don't put it down where you're going to scratch the paint. You've got three wires in the back. The black is the earth. The white is the... Side. The side light, the white light. The welcome light. The welcome light that we're going to put to the puddle light. And the green one is the indicator light. So that's what those three are going to be for. That's what we've got to route through. Um... 
Are oh, you going to wire it into that, are you? Yeah, so the white light we're going to wire into this. You don't want to just do it in the door card where it joins it? So, oh, it's one less to feed through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, again, this only applies if you've got the puddle lights. If you haven't got the puddle lights, while Ian's doing that, I'll show you what you've got to do. You've got to, what, you route it through. Now, which wire was the positive? It, the brown was the positive, wasn't it? The brown was the positive, yeah. Yeah, so if yeah. You're, if you're going to take off the bottom of the door card, you feed all three through. Yeah. And then once you're inside yes. here, you can just bring it down and join down there. Um, and you could actually use that for the earth if you wanted, or you if could you want to, if you yeah. wanted to. Um, and can you remember this one's a different colour? We've got orange and blue, and green and purple. You might have to check with a meter. I'll check with a meter. I'll stop the video and check with a meter which those which ones are positive and negative on that. So. On the right hand side, the green and purple wire, this one here, is the positive. So that's your welcome light positive feed. So you could use the other wire there as negative. On the other side, the left hand side of the car, it was brown and something was the positive. Which was kind of, in, kind of counterintuitive, because on a lot of cars, the brown is the negative. So we, since you're feeding a white wire to it, you yeah. have to go to the white. The white and the white is the white not, white, yeah. It's, it's not. Right, so... What's the trick here? You're going to twist those together. So we've got to get. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a fiddle to get them through, isn't it? It is. It's not the easiest thing to do. Yes. Bit of tape round the end stops them. Yes, yeah, splaying and going their own way. Directions. So we're just going to take the the green and the black through the top of the mirror. Yep, so there we go, that's that. That's the wire through. Yeah. Well, they should be able to see the light. So yeah, it's up to the top. You might need a flathead screwdriver or something just to make yourself a bit, a bit of a gap. All right, these are plenty long enough. And then the white, white wire. wire. We want to head to this back bottom corner yep. to come out here. Again, this can be, again, that's a bit fiddly. There we go, so that's that white wire through. So that's taken a separate path. Right, now are we, are we going to use the alcohol wipe now and clean down the... Yeah, so what we can do is roll that up onto its top. So obviously the mirror sticks on with this double-sided stuff with these tapes. So what we're going to do now, rather than film this bit, try and keep it short, we'll remove the tape and we'll clean the the top of the mirror because it gets grease on it where they've been buffed with that back to black stuff and everything we'll clean the mirror where the adhesive's going to stick um and then we'll come back and stick it on and see how we're doing i think do we actually supply silicon adhesive with these as well we might do i'll have a look okay so we've just got to put some we so we've removed the tape or? we've dry we've we've cleaned this with a alcohol wipe yeah, i'd put it inside there in because you don't want to put it where you've got the tape and this will just keep it on when it's super cold. And that'll stop it rattling or anything. I'm going to put a little around that. Cool, yeah, so we do put the silicon adhesive, I've just checked, with the warehouse, and we do put that with the kit. And you want to start at the bottom corner nearest the engine and sort of rotate it that way and give it a squeeze in okay and it does come right over it covers that joint which is quite neat pull that down pull that down all right so we've got the two wires that are going to go through into the door and we've got the one wire now so what we're going to do now we won't film this we're going to solder that onto the which color wire do we know are we going to double check i know what color it is in the other one blue blue okay we're going to solder the white wire onto on the blue both sides it is now we've got that you do get some of these little connectors which you can sort of use to to join it um i'm not going to demonstrate those on this one um we're going to solder that because that's going to be exposed um, we'll come back when they're soldered and we'll show you how to do the other bit so what we've got to do now is we've got to get the wires through the main there we go we've got them here there's the end of up through the main bit of this little rubbery bit here so in from outside to inside, inside car, yeah basically. but the, the the wires aren't rigid enough to sort of poke through so you could either get a stiff bit of wire poke it through or what Ian's going to do and he reckoned it worked on the other side 
is he's going to just push that back a little bit so there's, you can see it, it gets it, narrower yeah it gets narrower so if you push the wire back it gives you a little gives you a bit more freedom around the rubbery grommet then he's going to ram the needle nose pliers up through in there just ram them in right and then hopefully if you look in there you can just see the mouth of the needle nose pliers all right this isn't great video because you can't see it but i think you get the gist of what's going on and so he just there. opens sorry I, he's just going to try and grab the needle nose pliers go on look at that like a pro that's yeah that took a bit of working out but that is definitely the best way and then you just pull that one back pull through. Pull that all back. Make sure it's all tucked nicely in there. You can pack the, put the little cover back on. Start at the hinge end first, is it? You might yeah. have to get that in a little bit. Try getting it in a little bit first, is it? That one might be easier. That might be easier on the car. Okay, we'll put that on the car, right. So we go then, right, so let's give your hand here in. So we're gonna fed, feed the wires, all the wires back through that hole there. That's here they come. The so that's the two, yeah. that's the two long ones for our indicator in our air. And then I've got two other connectors to come through. And now you might not have two connectors because we've got power fold, we've got everything on this. We've got all the tricks. Watch that wind deflector, that's it. Let me get those. Yeah, we've got wind deflectors on there, which makes it a bit tricky. But you should better line it up. Oh, you're nearly there. That's it. That's half in. That's it. Right. Okay. So we're ready to connect that. Now, we won't film reconnecting that. Um, what we'll do, what you're more interested in is... You just get yeah, back just in those in. Yeah, get those out of the way. What you're Put more... your screws back on. Right. So we are going to link these to the indicator, which is in the wing. So how we, we've got to somehow get the wires out here through there and into there now you don't want to go too far straight across because then what it'll do every time you open the door it'll sort of stretch it you really want to sort of go down so where are we where, where what's the plan then Ian? where are you going to come out from let me just stick that stick a nut on so it doesn't fall off i went all the way down to this big grind right Tug him out, can you? Or push him in. Poke it in and then, and then pull him out. You ain't got to have a little like child's hand to do this trick, have you? Nope. And then, all right. Took this grommet out. Is that well. big? He's got like a little sort of. Flat head thing. All right, we're going to pull that out. And then we're going to. So again, it's just a, sort of like a grommet fitting around the door frame, is it? Just oh, it's tight. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You can see that's yeah, got, got like a nice sort of like grommet lift on the inside, and that will get us a pass from there right. to, to there. there. Yeah. Okay. So what Ian's done now is he's just put a bit of tube through there. It's just a bit of plastic tube we had lying in the workshop as a little feeder to feed it through. You could use a bit of coat hanger wire or anything you got lying around. There you go. These we're going to run down Run down there. there. We'll cable tie it to that. And go in there. Go in there. That's it. We've not, we've not put a hole in these. You could put a hole in and run through there. Through there, yeah. That might it, be nice. It actually will just, on just the other side, grip, it's just got yeah. it tucked in tucked there. It's jammed against the wire, but yeah, a hole might be nice. We're just doing it quick for the video. That's our excuse, anyway. Right, and then are we going to put any um, of that PVC strip over that, Ian? Yeah, firstly... I'm gonna yeah. get while well, I've got it taped to the pipe. I'm gonna get it up to the we'll top. Get right up. Oh, and then you can just slide it over. Up to the top. Top. Yeah. There. Okay. So yeah. that means you've got your vertical. Yeah, and, and you could almost hide through. it behind that because we're gonna cable tie it to that little what's the word ribbed strip down there. So if you root it behind, you're not gonna see it, right? We'll put all that back together. So we won't really. We'll put all that back together, and then we'll come and show you how to put the little bit of sheath on that which right, Colleen's getting on with the wiring I'm gonna fit this little plastic bit on the bottom of the mirror again so you got it in but it is quite tight on that corner there but with it on the door it is a bit a bit easier right that's that done so you can see now from the outside we pop that back there's no exposed wires we'll get the we'll get the light unit there clip back in 
Ian yeah, made taking those out easy. They're not as easy to clip out as we you made it look. We've got a video, yeah. If you get stuck taking that puddle light out, just YouTube puddle it's light. Just flathead in from this end. From yeah, the down, outside. but some of them get a bit brittle when they're old. Right, so that's where we're trying to get to there. Now, have you put that bit of rubber over? I'm doing it now. Doing it now, okay. So in the kit, it comes with this reinforced PVC sheath, which is going to protect it a bit you in the hinge. You get two pieces of this. Yeah. Um, so you and you cut, cut it to length? Yeah, I've just cut it roughly to length. Because you're only from where it comes out the door to the top, and I've allowed a little bit, bit there to get through that wing so bit, bit there. Through. So you can actually see this is you can start to see through the top of the wing here. We can actually see down through to where the indicator light is. Nearly. We're going to have to drill one more hole. We've we got one more hole to drill. Yeah. This does get a bit pinched up. Right, we'll let in. We don't need a video, but yeah, you got again. You got to feed, feed it through. through. Let me hold that straight for you. Right. Give it, give the outer sheath a pull. That's it. Right, we'll, we'll have fun trying to get these two through here. So, so yeah, we've got that through. Slip that little rubber bit down. You so, push it all the way down so that it reaches. Oh, oh I'm going to open the door. Yep. Yeah. So, all reaches, the bottom reaches that bottom. So, it's all, it's protecting, it's giving you a second layer of protection. Right. Whip the side vent out. So side vent, you've got to pull at the bottom. The bottom yeah. flips out. You've got to be brutal. Don't be. Disconnect the indicator. Right. So we're now we're now there. We've just got to get through. On the through. other side with the vent. Yeah. Um, it's got a plastic air yeah. intake here. Yeah. You just need to drill through the top corner. Okay. I went through like a, a nine mil. Yeah. Um, to get this plastic in. Yeah. This one, it feels like. It's a straight through because it's a dummy. Yeah. Right, open. should I open the door? So yeah, so on the left hand side. But you'll just need to punch a hole in that air intake to get that through. To, be able to get this through. And then once you're and in the air fingers. intake, yep. you're at the same stage as this. Again, we're just gonna connect those. Chop and solder those. And which wire, which wire is which there? Um, I'm gonna assume the black. The black is the earth. Is the earth. We will just meter it out and double meter check it out. Right. So we've done the indicator wires. So the black and green came down. And we've joined the black to the black and white. And the green to the yellow and... Is the yellow and any yellow and white? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll put those... Actually, we'll put that in the listing. We'll get Kate to write the wire colours. Clip that back in. And then we're, then we're done, aren't we? Yep. Um, right, and do you want to do a do you want to do a demo? Should we turn the workshop lights off? So let's do a demo. So, so that's what your mirror will look like when it's all installed. It's got two functions, as you'll see. So there we go. We'll turn the. So when you open your unlock your car, you can see we've got the puddle lights in the mirror pointing down. We've also got the welcome lights on there. And if you want to go in and put the hazards on in, yeah. So you've got indicators now here, here in the side repeater and in the headlight. So there we go, good luck with that.